Hey guys, today I'm going to show you that you can use your PS2 controllers with PC. So the first thing you need is this adapter right here. It is a PS2, PS1 controller to PC and it has a USB at the end. So you just plug that in and then you install the drivers. So let's go onto the computer and I'll show you guys how to do it. So once you have the uh, PS2, PS1 adapter, you want to plug it into the USB port and then let it um, download the drivers. So I'm gonna plug this in, I can't do it with one hand. Okay, so now that we have it plugged in, um, just right there, uh, there are two lights, but they only pop up when you um, insert a, a PS2 or PS1 controller in either ports. So I'm gonna plug my controller um, here, like so. So this one's uh, player one and this one's player two. I will, um, I don't know if I stated this before, but I'll leave a link in the description below for the eBay and Amazon product. So if you choose uh, eBay, I'll leave it there, or Amazon. So there you go, um, the light is blink uh, not blinking, but the light is on, and this shows that it's working. Um, also test to see if the light of the analog turns on. I know it's not on right now, that's why you just press this. It's working, awesome. Okay, and now I'm going to show you this screen uh, on what you need to do next. Okay, so now that you have the adapter plugged into the computer and the adapter already working on here, um, it should be able to read it, that it's a controller device. Uh, it'll pop up right here. It'll say twin USB joystick. So what you want to do is uh, click that to see if everything's okay. Go to hardware, check it, uh, properties, okay, this device is working properly. And then also you can go to game controller settings and see that they're both okay. So now I bet you want to use them for a game, right? Yeah, okay. So now you go to this website. Um, well, first just type in X360CE, uh, download, and then you'll get a bunch of these links and then just go to the very first one then you hear and then you go to the X360 app which um, I don't really like this one because it, it looks all complicated so I'm actually gonna go to um, let's see this one right here the actual website and then this gives you right here two options for 32-bit games uh, just to be on the safe side you can download both that's what I did um, and yeah, so if you do have a 64-bit system, then obviously you would get both, but if you have a 32-bit, then just get the first one. Um, I'll leave, again, a link for this. I'll leave every link for everything that I talk about um, in the description below. Um, so after that, you have your, um, you have your X360. You have both the 64 and the 32. I'm going to look at the 32. You might want to copy this because you're going to be using it for any directory game or anything. So I'm going to paste this here. And then uh, let's say I want to put it on uh, Dirt Rally or um, let's say Left 4 Dead or something. You wouldn't really want to do it for an FPS game. But uh, let's say Speedrunners. So Program Files, you go to Steam and then you go to Steam Apps. Then you go to common, and then choose the game that you want. So I already did it for, uh, let's go Mortal Kombat. You would go to disc content PC, and then you would put it here. So after you do that, you uh, double click it, put run, and then um, it'll pop up a screen that'll tell you that you're missing a file. Put create, it'll create it for you. You don't have to do anything else. And then, uh, so I have my controller here. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to... Uh, you can see it on the bottom of the screen. You can see that I have my controller here. Um, you can see that the analogs aren't working. It's because this isn't pressed. So now I'm gonna press it. And now it should work now. See, there you go. You have it working. And now look, you have all your controllers working, all your uh, buttons. Um, here, it's kind of hard to press this, but there you go. You have all of them working. Um, you can select, start, everything's working awesome fantastic um, now that that's complete you want to click save um, I already clicked save so I'm just gonna exit and then uh, run your game so let's uh, let's go with uh, Mortal Kombat 
you can see here it's running. Um, I'm gonna press X, X. So now it's working. Awesome. Press space. You got your here. You got um, it supports up to two players. You can just get that PS2 uh, adapter where you can have um, multiple players. But uh, for this one, I just have two players. Um, I don't have two controllers plugged in, so I'm just gonna uh, go with one player. Uh, ladder X. See the controller is working. Fantastic. I love it, and it really helps with um, games like these. Um, let's see. So it's oh, rocker. Rocker. medium. And uh, yeah, so this is an awesome, awesome way instead of buying a 360 controller. And if you have a bunch of these PS2 controllers lying around, then that'd be a great way to use them. Um, just buy this adapter. It's only about wow. five bucks. Um, free shipping. I got it on eBay. Uh, it's amazing, yeah. And this is a tutorial on how to use a PS2 controller on PC or PS1. Remember that. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer them. And um, yeah, most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Peace.